what's up guys shark gaming here coming to you with another video and i'm happy to announce that i think i figured out what iconic moments pack is coming thursday i don't even think i actually know it's literally right here in this message konami recently confirmed it themselves highlighting that there are problems in two cards two iconic moment player cards roberto carlos from real madrid iconic moment and pavel nevdet from Juventus Iconic Moment Pack. This issue is that his outside curl ability has been reduced and they're trying to fix that. I personally can sympathize with that because when I was using him on the live stream, he was not producing curls so I would have expected him to. And sometimes in positions suited for the outside curl, it did not happen. Also, I was watching a live stream with Alex from No Dents and he was experiencing the same issue so i was just look i was just glad that he was not me alone who was experiencing it but yeah in this bulletin they also made mention to pavel nevdid because of his generic free kick animation and they're saying that they want him to have his unique style of like free kick animation but yeah they even went on to confirm that he's going to be available this thursday the 18th of june until the 25th of june so i mean we're ready. The other two players that are going to be included in this pack are Alessandro Del Piero and Andrea Perlo. So I'm just going to go a little bit like in depth of like what their stats are going to look like and I don't know, decide if I'm going to want those players myself. Not that, you know, there are any guarantees of me getting any of them at all, but if I'm supposed to get them. Let us start with Andrea Perlo who is a defensive mid maxed at 94 without the club boost and 97 with the club boost. I must admit that he has a different playing style from most defensive mids, whereas they're usually destroyers while he's an orchestrator. A playing style we would usually find in center mid forwards. As we take a look at his stats, we see why we would not want to play him in defensive mid as the defensive awareness is 73. His ball in is 74 and his aggression is 73, mm, rather 71 without the boost. On the bright side, most of his stats are good for a center mid forward as he has 99 passing ability, 97 curling, 90 dribbling and 85 kicking power. The only problem is that his speed is 73 and his acceleration is 76. So he is slower than our most commonly used center mid forwards such as like Pogba, Cruz, Modric, Saul. But his skills and traits make up for that lack of speed because he has long shot ability, knuckle shot, so you know he can take the shots on once there's space and you've mastered using him as well as weighted pass and through passing to you know evenly distribute the ball accurately up front. So he might not be that bad of a player. Now we will quickly look at Alessandro Del Piero, a player who will most definitely add to the game being broken as he's maxed at 100 at second striker with club boost and 98 without if we're being honest his stats are off the charts they're really really good and if they're reflected in game we may not want to play an opponent who has him like seriously imagine playing a lag cheater who has this card that's total bullshit honestly that's the only time in history that I'd probably rage quit because there is obviously no way for me to win that match in all honesty. My only discretion is that he has 79 header and 89 jump and as a poacher who finds space I can already imagine myself orchestrating a run and this player is there he finds space I cross it in from the wing because that's my preferred playing style it's a lobbed pass in the air and he loses the aerial duel to a defender with 95 heading like Varan or the new screener. I'm just saying it can happen but who knows he might be broken to the point where this doesn't affect him and he still wins all the headers which would be totally disgusting so I would actually need this player but yeah he's filled with skills powered to get him through the defense like one such skill that I really really like is the double touch I've seen a couple of opponents use it against me and it's completely OP. He has the gamesmanship trait, so you know that it's very easy for him to get penalties using this player if used correctly, of course. And he has the martial turn and the step on skill control. 
so this player yeah is pretty good in my opinion now let's get to my favorite player in this pack pavel nevdet who is a 97 rated left mid forward with club boost and 95 without i want him because his stats are pretty decent they're more balanced especially compared with alessandro del Piero. I mean, like his stats are just 99s going across it looks pretty like you know unfair so at the same time i know that if my opponent has this card it does have weaknesses and it you know it has its strengths with del Piero, there are barely any weaknesses that i see unless you know the header and that's about it everything else once he takes a shot i'm just going to assume that it scores so i feel as if nev dead will come in handy for me because i really like left mid for like I, I really lack a left mid forward with his abilities uh the pinpoint crossing the dipping shots the heel trick the long range drive everything the outside curler the through passing so it would be a great addition to my side if you look at his stats right here the only negative that i see which isn't really a negative is the heading being 71 and the jump being 79 which isn't bad at all because he's a left mid forward he'll be mostly on the flanks he won't be needed in the box so just make sure that you have you know three other players that can be used in set pieces such as corners or any um long free kicks he won't be that player he'll probably be the player distributing the pass if you know needs be he can also play in like various positions even right mid forward he can play in center mid 96 not bad 98 attacking mid he can play 95 second strike and he can play 92 left wing me knowing me i'm gonna play him out of position sometimes and play him 92 rated as a left wing forward but that's fine i'll find use of him as i said i really really like his card and i love cards with 99 stamina like such as kafu you know because i like a player that can run for the entire match without getting tired because you know when you get down to the late part of the game most of the players get tired and i don't want that to happen so i'm glad that he can last the entire match so yeah guys this was just a small little review of all of the players that are supposed to be coming as i said i would prefer getting left dead uh, if i get del Piero, i'll be satisfied if i get perlo i'll be okay with it but like i'm not really looking for a defensive mid or a center mid forward right now for defensive mid i already have vera or even casemiro or sergio busquets you know and if i have like for center mid i have so many so i don't really need one but if i get that still be grateful because there's a possibility that i probably won't even get anybody at all but i just hope that i get a player this time because you know knowing konami anything's possible right i hope you guys found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like comment share i'm out